Good morning and welcome to another vlog actually, that's a lie. It is not the morning, it is gone half past one. Basically, Elisa didn't go to nursery today because last night she had a temperature and she was up most of the night and honestly I don't even know what's wrong with her. She's completely fine today. But I didn't send her to nursery just because yesterday she was feeling a bit poorly and then today she's... I don't know, this girl is just always poorly, I don't understand it. But anyway... I have just made a curry in my instant pot so I'm going to check on that now I haven't checked on it yet it's a meat curry we'll put peppers in there so let's have a look at what that is looking like oh look at it that looks delicious so this is what it looks like it's got a lot of oil in there why I do not know but okay that's fine Look how lovely and soft the peppers have gone. I love it when they're like that. So perfect. And then the meat is just, oh, so soft. I don't really like bony curries, but my husband bought some bony meat, so that's what I made with it. <laughs> Elisa wants to make her little frozen cupcake thing that we got the other day, so we're gonna do that. Hello, hello, Banjo. Yeah, what are you doing up there? You having fun? You love banjo, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, he's basically like reverted to living back inside the house now, especially because it's the winter, so I think that's probably the main reason why. A little backstory behind banjo is he was our cat in our old house and he lived inside with us. We've had him since he was a kitten. He's seven years old. He is a lovely little cat. He's so gentle and kind to like kids. He's not violent at all, like he doesn't scratch or anything. And then when we moved here, because a dog used to live here in the past, he, I think he was just a bit scared of coming in the house because he could smell the dog still. So he didn't come in the house for two years probably. He didn't come in the house. Like he'd come in and then as soon as like you'd walk away, He'd run to the door and be like, let me out kind of thing. So he didn't want to go, he didn't want to come in the house at all. No. But now, this winter, he's decided that it's too cold outside for him, so he's going to stay in the house now, which I'm not complaining about. He's, he's lovely to be around. The kids love him. So, it's nice. Do you like banjo? Say banjo. Banjo. Good job. Good job. What? Say mummy. Good Oh, okay. Say Elisa. <laughs> okay, come on, let's go and get stuff done, done, done. Done, 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 done. Done, done, done. Done, done, done. Done, done, done. done. Ta da. First thing we need to do is fill this up. Good. Wow, good job. Got three. Good girl. High five. Good job. We did two wow. high five. Wow, we did two high five. High five. Good job, guys. Mm. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, can you empty this into the bowl, please? Good job. Add the hole. Good job. Is it done? Meanwhile, what are you doing, Mike? Now I need the egg. Good job. Add the egg. So, do you want to do the egg? Oh, he's so cute. Wait, you have to, you have to look. I'll do that and then. Do hold it from here and pull it apart, okay? No. And then you try. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, wipe. <laughs> right, let's just see if there's any shell. I don't think so. Add the water, so four tablespoons of water. Four tablespoons from there into there. One full one, so you have to put it all the way in. 
and then put that into there. One, two, three, four, and good job. We need to get two teaspoons of vegetable oil. Oh, it's for you. You can do it, I believe you. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. We have a visitor. <laughs> Layla's here. Me and Elisa are going to make the icing for the cakes now because we want to eat them. And they're just they've just been cooling in here right now. They're so nice and soft. Well done baby, you made it so pretty. Thank you. <laughs> she bought you cake. Oh, thank you, babe. Which one can I have? You want to choose one for me? Elsa. I can have Elsa. Oh, is that how much you love me? <laughs> Two minutes later and the cakes look like this. <laughs> we have another guest. Yeah, slightly, very slightly. Hi. It's why do you always again. why do you always do that face in my all, vlog? I have to now that you've said that. <laughs> do you think he looks like my dad? Say hello blog. Hello blog. <laughs> <laughs> why are you talking about a deep voice? <laughs> that is my voice. <laughs> I do have a, a really deep That's voice. That's your voice. No, it isn't. Now say hello blog. Hello blog. <laughs> Hello, vlog. Buffman <laughs> bought us some sweeties. These used to be haram, but now they're suitable for vegetarians. Yay! Hello, My favourite are the blackjack because mm. I love chocolate. licorice sweets. Mm. So good. And then he got some chocolates. Wait, I don't even know where they are. Hmm? He got these for the well, kids. The these are the you. best. I love cool. these. Okay, so this is Uthman's little man. You must have seen him in my vlogs if you've been watching my vlogs for a while. This is Caden, and it's my sister's birthday. Happy birthday! Uh -huh. I completely forgot, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is what Uthman Happy sent. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I love you. What? accent do you guys think he's got because no, I have no idea it's so cute and funny <laughs> so my brother is holding the camera <laughs> I'm going to film a chapati recipe which has been so 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 highly requested on every time that I put it in my vlog everyone's like your chapatis are so round they're not actually they just look round but they are soft so I'm gonna tell you tell so I'm gonna tell you how to make them and yeah that's what I'm gonna do so what, this is what you need. Look, I'm so professional. <laughs> so this is the chapati flour that I use all the time. It is really good. My sister actually recommended this to me. It's the Tesco brand chapati flour medium. I don't know what that says. 5 kg. So this is what I use. It's basically like, is it like 50-50 I think? It's not, I don't know. I don't even know what it is, but it looks like this. And I measure it in mugs. So, oh, I forgot to get a bowl out. I'm not so professional, eh? I use these bowls, which I bought from Poundland. It's so cheap for making my chapatis. So, I'm going to... I don't really measure it. I just do it by eye. But for you, I'm going to measure it, okay? <laughs> so, I use one... About two cups. For today and then I, I always get like about half a mug out as well and keep it out because that is going to be used for rolling and if I need to add some to this when I get add the water let's put that away I always use boiling water so I'm going to stick the kettle on and then I'm going to show you what I do to the flour there we go so we're going to let that boil and then I'm going to add some oil but I don't actually measure it 
Let's measure it just for a second, okay? <laughs> Three tablespoons, no, I'm going to do four. Four tablespoons of oil. This is just vegetable oil. And then I'm going to do half a teaspoon of salt. And that is ready for the water now. To this, I'm going to add some boiling water, but I basically eyeball it. I will show you exactly what I mean in a minute. Mm. So this is what the consistency looks like now. It's what do you what would you say that's like? <laughs> I don't know, it's like chunky. But it's like soft and it's all stuck together. There's no like loose bits of flour at the bottom. And it is ready now to use your hands and knead it all together. Okay, at this point it's really hot, so you can either wait till it cools down or you can just deal with the heat. <laughs> Which is what I'm gonna do. Oh yes. It really helps if you use this part of your hand, this part. So I basically made the perfect dough when I didn't want to <laughs> because I wanted to show you what would happen if you added too much water or too little water but I added the perfect amount. I don't normally do this but it's just probably because I'm filming this video. <laughs> this is how you want your dough to look, nice and smooth and it's like play-doh basically. When you touch it you don't want it to like be sticky, it should just be like, zoom in a little bit, like come closer, come closer and have a look. <laughs> So you can kind of see that it's like play-doh, it doesn't stick to your hand at all and it's not too dry. This is how it should be basically. But right now I'm going to roll them into balls because I'm going to make them very soon and then we're going to roll them out and I'll show you how to do that. So the size of the ball that you want is basically as big as you want it to be. <laughs> if you want bigger chapatis, roll bigger balls. If you want smaller chapatis, then you roll smaller ones basically. And then I kind of like to flatten mine out a little bit so that they're easier to roll when it comes to it. literally just realized that the first one that I made is the smallest and the last one that I made is the biggest like small 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 kind of big big massive so these are the men ones <laughs> shut up <laughs> so I'm going to roll these now and I'll show you exactly how I do that so let's go so the first thing I do before I start rolling is turn on my dower the heat on here so I'm going to turn that on and I put it on like this setting like not high it's like medium high okay so this is the brand of the towel that I use it's classic I got it from a shop on Soho Road in Birmingham it was just from a I don't even know what the name of the shop is but it was just from a ra random Asian shop an Asian hardware homeware shop so you can basically get them anywhere. I'm sure you can get them in Tesco and things as well. So I'm using this. It's like a non-stick one, mine is. And then these are the rolling pins that I have. My mum likes to use this one, but I don't because it kind of is a bubble in the middle. Can you see that? And I'm not used to using this because I've just learned how to do it with like a flat one. Normally I have like a big massive one which has the middle bit, but it got moldy somehow. I don't know how. So I just use that one now. So I'm gonna put this one away. And then always when you're making chapatis you need two fresh tea towels clean and you put one on a plate these are this one's ready for the w ones that are done and then I just like to put that on the side next to where I'm going to be taking the chapatis off so I can just slide them on <laughs> 
and then this one is to sort out the chapatis when they're on there so you like you know mess with them like that <laughs> but now I'm going to start rolling them so I've got my cup full of flour well it's like halfway full and I just keep that on the side and then every so often I take some out put it on the worktop like that and then that's what I use to roll my chapatis with when I start rolling I like to dip it into the worktop flour <laughs> both sides and then I kind of like tap it off so that I've got a surface to roll onto where it's all floury and then I press it down a little bit and then I start rolling so I do one roll down and then one roll down again and then the chapatis are quite warm so they're leaving condensation on the on the work cup if you did it when they're cold they don't do that I always put more pressure on the right side but if you're left-handed you'll do it from the other side and what you want to do is feel where it's the biggest so I like to see where it's lumpy on the side so I put that to my right hand side and I roll it from there and then I go to the side and roll it again and then roll it and then roll it again and then just keep doing that so you've always got the thickest part on the right hand side or the left hand side if you're left handed And then when it starts to seem quite even, you just want to kind of put pr even pressure all over so that it makes the chapati bigger. And then you just want to keep working it until it's quite thin. I'm moving it up there because there's flour on the worktop here, so I'm just getting a bit more flour. And then if it starts to stick to your rolling pin or the surface, it means that your dough is too wet. But you can always put flour on your rolling pin or on the chapati, on the back of the chapati or whatever. But just don't use too much flour. I like to feel around the edges and to see if the whole chapati is even. And my chapatis, I like to do my chapatis this, uh, about the thickness of a 1p coin, so that is how thick they are. And then it's ready to go on once it's all the same thickness all the way around. So I'm going to put that on now. Just slap it on. <laughs> so when it's on, you there's a method to doing it. So you need to do 10 seconds when you first put it on so I'm gonna count roughly 10 seconds and then I'm gonna turn it over I'm just gonna swish it around a little bit like that so that it kind of evenly cooks you don't have to do that I don't do that if I'm rolling another chapati at the same time by the way they're not perfectly round look at that <laughs> getting perfectly round chapatis takes a lot of practice so I've just flipped it and that's what it looks like I would say that my heat is a bit too hot because that was like 10 seconds and there's spots on it. Don't want it to be like that, I just wanted it to be completely white. So that's gonna cook now and I'm gonna keep checking the bottom every few seconds. I'm gonna spin it a little bit. Oh, that's already done. See, my heat is way too hot. So you wanna turn it when it looks like this. So when you start seeing all the spots on it and now you want to kind of puff it up a bit. So I'm gonna use my tea towel and I'm just gonna give it a little hand make the air go around by pushing it around. I kind of just want to make it go to all the sides of the chapati and then you get like a perfectly puffed up chapati. And then you literally want to leave that there for about 10 seconds and then take that off. So that is the first one done and then I just cover it until the rest are all done. Now that I have showed my brother how to do it, he's going to have a go. Have you washed your hands? Can we do it again? <laughs> so what did I say first? Flour. You put flour. No, what I do is put it in the flour, oh, yeah. and then, and then move this, <laughs> and then you kind of just shake that off, like tap it with your hands. Oh. No, you didn't tap it off, bro. You can't do it like that. <laughs> Look, hold this. You've already got it wrong. <laughs> so you kind of just do that. So it kind of smacks it all off, oh. and then it's all covered on there and on here. Oh, Do you get it? I get it now. Okay, so now it's going to start rolling. Hold on, Elisa. You didn't concentrate, did you? Hmm? I don't always concentrate. 
feeling where it's biggest. Right. You didn't listen. Listen to me now. Okay, so it's a good thing we're doing this because mistakes like this are easily made. This is how I used to do it. But basically, you need to... The rolling pin doesn't move much, okay? All you need to do is find the... See, yours has gone a bit wet on the one side, so... You put it on the side that is the thickest on the right-hand side, yeah? You're right-handed, aren't you? Yeah. And then you put pressure on this side instead of this side, so keep that one so loose. So it's like that? Yeah, basically. Ah! Hold on a minute, Lisa. How's it going? <laughs> very good, very good. So, what do you do now to know that it's done? You feel around. Yeah. No, it's all good, you know. Let me have a feel. Go on, then. No, bro. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I feel this, I can feel that there's like, it's like hills. <laughs> it's so bumpy. Yeah. The edges are like, there's a thicker part here, there's thicker parts here. I'm going to put some more flour. Mm -hmm. And then you just, you kind of roll this down as well. Mm. But you put pressure on one side. Okay. So like that. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that. So I'm only leaning on this side. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's still it's really rolling down. Because what I was doing was just holding it here, and that part was yeah, rolling exactly. down. I get it. Do you want to go in the other room? Yeah. Okay, one second. So feel that now. Can you feel oh any bumps? Gosh. See what I mean? No, that's much So better. it has to be very even for it to right. cook evenly. So oh, now yeah. we're going to put this on here. Do you want to do the cooking? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, 10 seconds on that side. Okay, is it white? Nope. Oh, turn it back round. That's not good. <laughs> it basically... <laughs> this is so not good. Ah, I thought... <laughs> so basically, it should be all white on that side. Okay, so it should be ready now. Go on ah. See how it's like, oh. see how it's kind of cooked the you've bottom. Yeah, you've got a few of those, but that, I think that's because we turned it before. <laughs> we're just waiting for the spots to come on the other side and then we're going to turn it. The reason that you cook that side until there's spots on there is because you know that then the whole of the bottom of it is cooked properly. And then try turning it now, see what happens. Yeah, that's better. So that is what it looks like. Now you can start pressing it, see if it pops up. So what I like to do is roll it, so it kind of... Oh! <laughs> no! Check you out! And then when the bubble starts to rise a bit more, you can kind of push the bubble a little bit with that, but not too hard, because you don't want to pop it. Mm -hmm. Let me show you. So you kind of want to oh, roll it a little bit that way, it. maybe rolling that way. Rolling. But I think because it was rolled a bit weird, <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to pop up fully, but it's still good though, well done!
the chapatis are all done there was literally just one more so i didn't bother filming it but here they all are you could either put butter on them or just leave them like this i leave them like this just for less calories um <laughs> but this is the curry that we're having today oh my god it is meat and pepper so excited to eat this <laughs> 